Hi guys, welcome to our next lesson. So today we're going to be talking about uh, radians and degrees. What are they? All right, so first of all, let's talk about what degrees describe. So like degrees can tell you a direction. They can tell you kind of how big an angle is. So for example, I can tell you to um, look up 30 degrees. And you can tilt your head up and look up 30 degrees, right? But I can't ask you to, like, move 30 degrees. Like, if I asked you to walk 30 degrees, you wouldn't be able to do that. You could change and face 30 degrees, or you could do 30 degrees from north. Uh, like, degrees give you direction, but they don't give you, like, a number that you can move. They're not, like, a real number to move forward. Radians, on the other hand, are real numbers. Like, for example, they're all based on pi, and pi is a real number. Pi is that 3.14, but really it goes on forever and ever and ever. Um, and if I told you to go pi feet, then you could walk, you know, about 3.14 feet. Or you could find me a rope that is pi meters long. Um, and so that's why when we convert things from uh, when we want to go from you know circular or angular things and we want to say okay well how how long does this angle make this or um, I want to graph something so that it keeps going across the graph I need to change my angle from degrees to radians or I need to use radians because radians is the only way that I can make things go a distance that I can keep things going kind of linearly so the question is then, how do I convert between these two, you know, depending on whether I want radians or whether I want degrees? So the thing you need to know is that pi radians equals 180 degrees. Those are the same. They're both that straight across line, okay? So I can set up a ratio. So I can say, okay, pi over 180 is radians over degrees, okay? Then, let me do an example conversion for you. I think that's usually the easiest way to show this. So I'm going to say, let's say I want to convert 25 degrees into radians. Okay, step one. Throw, you know, remember your ratio. Right here. Step two, you got to enter the numbers. So I'm going to put 25 here where I had degrees before. And then I'm going to put X here for radians, because I don't know how many radians it is yet, and that's what I want to find out. So I'm going to look for X. All right, step three. Whenever I have this equal sign between two fractions, the equal sign there, that generally means I'm going to be doing this cross-multiply thing. And remember, what that means is 25 times pi doo -doo, equals 180 times X. Bow -bow right there okay now so double check that again if you need to remember cross multiplication so now let's solve for x because that's what we all do this pirate math teachers okay so remember the enemy of multiplication is division so to get rid of this multiplication i'm going to divide both sides by 180 so the x equals 25 pi divided by 180 Here's the big thing. I'm going to bring this up again later. You are always going to keep this pi. You will never simplify this pi. Pi must stay. Do not get rid of pi. Keep pi. Pi is good. Yum. All right, so keep pi around. All right, step five, simplify the fraction. And again, leave pi alone. All you're really simplifying is the fraction 25 over 180. So just kind of Pi is just pretend it's kind of like an X or any other variable, Just but even though pi is a real number, you're just going to make sure you leave pi in the fraction at the end, okay? So I'm just going to divide the top and bottom in this case by 5, and 25 divided by 5 is 5, and 180, 180 divided by 5 is 36. So that's how I get this, and yay, that's your final answer. So there you go, those are your steps. And now it's your turn to try one. Yay! Okay, so I want you to pause the video and try and convert 45 degrees into radians. Did you pause it? Pause it and actually write it out. All right.
So did you get pi over 4 for your answer? If not, pause it again and double check your steps. Because the more you do this on your own, the better. Okay? All right. So double check. Did you set this up this way? If you didn't, then set it up this way and pause again and try again. Okay? After you did this, did you remember your next step was to cross multiply? And then your next step was this. Again, any point in here, if you didn't get the same thing as me, then pause and write the same thing as me and see if you can solve it the rest of the way from that step, okay? So now we're just going to divide both by 180 so that we can get x alone and so that we get x equals 45 pi over 180. Now this one, I could just divide this by 5 and this by 5 a few times and that's okay. Or, you know, divide this by 5 and then divide it again. In, in this case though, or divide it by 5 and then divide it by 9. Um, but here, I just went ahead and divided the top and bottom by 45 and so that you know, 45 divided by 45 is 1, so I ended up with just this 1 pi, and 180 divided by 45 is pi over 4. Uh, I actually did this one for a reason, because next year this is going to be an important one for you guys to know. Um, anyway, that's it for this show, so good luck. I'll see you on the next one.